Hey everyone, it's Darren Benson with Performance Motor Coaches. We're out here on a Wednesday afternoon. It's a bright, sunshiny, what is it, like 98 degrees out here in Texas? It's kind of beautiful. It's kind of beautiful how hot it is outside. So we're going to do a walkthrough video of a few peats. This guy is headed out west coast. This is probably the next one. And then we've got a customer coming in from New Mexico on this. But wanted to kind of capture them all at the same time, check them all out. So some show hauler conversions. These are Peterbilt 567s, basically twin coaches. We did a video last night of this, and we're going to do a video of this. And I guess two weeks ago, I did a video of this guy right here. But just kind of wanted to have them all together. Kind of cool to have all the units all in one spot, all at the same time. Uh, did a lot of videos yesterday and today, so check out our YouTube. We got a ton coming. We got some Excel stuff, and so all of it'll be done tomorrow. Just feel like feel like Pat, Pat Sajak, Anchorman, probably a little bit better. So, Peterbilt 567. Both of these are bath and a half show haulers with bunk bed. Basically, similar type floor plans, similar colors as well. Uh, these are two, I believe they're cousins out on the West Coast. So, very cool units. Uh, very, you know, the Peterbilt has its own look. That's the reason why I wanted to capture them all here together. Essentially, what we've done on the 589 is taken the 567 cab and adapted the new hood to it. So, definitely a cool look. Um, the old classic air cleaners, the old West Coast style mirrors versus the pedestal mount on the 567. So whether you like old school or new school, either one of the 567 or 589s will accommodate. As long as you didn't run me over, it ought to be a good day. Let's see how, see how well he turns. If he, if he gets to do, you better start turning, man. <laughs> turn, turn. <laughs> Your beautiful paint job turned out unbelievable. So this guy right here, we'll call it the silver bullet. Is that the is that the is that the blue blue flame and silver bullet? So we'll just kind of jump into it. These customers did bring their coaches or their cabs to colors, so basically we kind of painted to match. So silver and then the blue. So very, very cool. Outdoor fridge freezer right here. It does work off the power inverter. So it'll do fridge, fridge, freezer, freezer, whatever configuration you might want. Great for cold beer, great for meat, whatever you might need, whatever you got. These are all fully locking either off of the pad here or off of the key fob. So there'll be a few key fobs. Extra tile right there in case he needs to tile his basement. They kind of estimate. I see, I see coaches come back from show hauler and they'll have a box of tile, they'll have 30 boxes of tile, they'll have zero boxes of tile. So you never kind of know what you're, what you're gonna get at times. 43 inch smart TV. Uh, that is a GBL soundbar that will Bluetooth as well. So pull out tray right here. So good for uh, some type of a electric grill, maybe a smoker to be able to put it on there, plug in there. We can always add additional plugs in the bays themselves. So side mounted awning which is nice. Let me see if I can't. A little bit lower than the rooftops. So optional turn signals right here. There's a running lights and turn signals. And then we did the dual optional docking lights. So there's 100, 100 gallons of fresh water underneath the coach. And then we plumbed in the shower here. So essentially the shower comes off of, even though it's configured in the bay with all of the auxiliary tank, uh, it's actually plumbed into the whole house system. So it makes it pretty nice to be able to 
shower off hot cold here on your campsite and then to basically that is your tank fill to the, your to your 100 gallon and then if you needed to uh, basically you know say you use a power washer that would be the exit portion of that and then we went ahead and plumbed, plumbed, plumbed another valve in there so the customer could fill the inside off of the outside tank so effectively 250 gallons of fresh water use So 50,000 BTU hydronic heater here. This is from ITR, much smaller company, very customer service oriented. Had great luck with ITR. 50, so 50,000 BTU dual zone system. Has lots of nice diagnostics on either panel to the right and then also to the left. It does serve as your domestic water. And another thing I like about the uh, the Oasis 50,000 NE is it does have two electric elements. So around back, fiberglass cap, does have the optional ladder. We did the two and five sixteenths ball and the two inch receiver down below to be able to flat tow some, basically the idea is some convertibility for a customer. So camera plug right here, these guys are probably gonna be, I think they've got, actually have some traders on order. And then that will be just for your regular trailer. And then that is a 50 amp exterior plug to be able to plug, you know, like I said, if they have a big trailer or if they have a buddy that has a camper that wants to be able to plug in. So wet bay here, we generally go through and kind of configure, reconfigure the, uh, some of the valves here. But the idea is to be able to get, bring fresh water on board and then also you've got your uh, this does not have a macerator pump on your uh, we just got hooking up. oh okay. it's, just, it's, just, it's, it's hidden back there we uh we tell them why we bypass it for, for draining so. so on on new coaches we we like to dump the tanks several times basically fill the tanks dump them several times the idea is whenever the coach is in construction trash will get into the gray water black water tank and if the trash ends up into your macerator pump, it will generally burn it up. So this gives us the opportunity to just basically keep, keep the waste tanks fill, full of water and then uh, we're moving it around and then we'll dump it a few times. So that way we'll get all the trash out of that. Your macerator pump will pass any kind of human waste. It will not pass uh, Costco butt wipes guaranteed on that, but it will pass any human waste. It will pa pass normal toilet paper. Uh, so we want to basically get all of your tanks clean before you start operating your macerator pump system. That's your switch right there. Yeah, stuff like that. So this the coach has one more final before it goes home. Outdoor sprayer right here. So cold water on the left, hot and cold on the right, but pretty indicative of all of the show hauler wet bays. Slowly getting in to add more features to it. So some of the ones in the future will only have one valve. Pretty excited to go from three to one. Three to one, that'll be happy. And then we're gonna start doing some monitoring outside. Um, sometimes simplicity is good. Sometimes simplicity is bad in that it takes a while for things to change. So it does have the smart transfer switch there again. Uh, that was one thing that took probably about two years for those guys to go over to the smart transfer switch. The nice thing about the smart transfer switch is uh, it will keep from transferring if you don't have proper power on board and then you can keep track of what your voltage and your amp draw is on each and every leg. So you'll have a 32 foot shore cord there on the right. It is manual, uh, manual out and then automatic retract. So for anybody that ever thinks, well, I'm in a big hurry, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna you know, I'm, I'm done with the camper, I'm, uh, we're, we're good to go. Ah, right, we're, we're good to go. Now, you know what happens? That thing wanders down, and I can't tell you how many shore cords we've had to replace because they've wandered down. Take the extra 30 seconds it takes to put this guy on. You'll thank me for it. I guess you might not thank, thank me for it because it won't happen to you, but it's kind of what you're up against. Another wet bay. It's, I guess you could just say it's a dump bay. Uh, because it is a bath and a half configuration and show hauler likes to do the shortest runs to the toilets themselves the toilets to the waste tanks so you'll have a fair amount of 
these, these guys are going to be out in the desert at times, so they'll welcome having uh, two sets of uh, grays and blacks, especially the you know the black if you're out uh, if you're out camping for quite some time. 12.5 on end generator, which is pretty much what we put on all of the rigs. Very easy to service, very easy to get parts. All of your parts list and your oil viscosity is there on the left hand side of that. Next door we have your full electric bay. So it has the 3000 watt multi plus inverter. The nice thing about the multi, multi plus, uh, generally you don't need more when you're in, inverting, you don't need to invert more than 3000. Uh, but the idea is uh, lots of options whenever you are plugged in to be able to you know, effectively not overrun any of your circuitry. So it does have 50 amp pass through. So right now we have set up the center AC, of course your microwave, uh, all your plugs, you're awning all off your inverter. But we can add more things to that, actually add it or subtract to the inverter. So. This coach just has, I believe it's just uh, three 200 watt panels up there. We can add additional panels and be able to upgrade the uh, Victron solar controller. We go up to like a 100 amp controller. So chassis batteries right there. Def tank, this is a 13 gallon, I believe it's a 13 gallon def tank on board. And then a 100 gallon, I thought it was 120 gallon, but clearly it says 100 gallons. So that's what we're up against. So easy cab entry, you got some grab handles on the left, grab handles on the right. These guys are in the refuse business, so hence the orange seat belts, but I think it's kind of a cool factor to it. So Cummins, they are a Cummins X15. I'll grab the other side real quick. So 565 horse, 1850 torque, they can be tuned up to 605 horse, but ultimately that's probably everything a man needs right there in the way of horsepower. So lock right there. But just the idea, you know, this is the true trucker's truck, the Peterbilt. It's, it, it's kind of funny, you know, we, we get inquiries from people with diesel pushers and it, I can't even look at a motorhome at this day and age and take a, take a diesel pusher serious. I just can't imagine not having that engine and frame out in front of me. Does have the hood mirrors up here. I think I'm gonna run that awning in. It's starting to get a little windy. So I always like to kind of show how open it is whenever the slides are in the in position. So jackknife couch right there so his wife or kid could kind of lay down there and take a nap. That's a full flip over couch right next door. But very easy to walk through, access anything in your kitchen, your refrigerator, some storage, get in and out of your bunk beds, get your half bath as well. So I'm gonna run, if you wanna back up, I'm gonna run the slide outs out. So kind of a cool thing about this, this coach, this was one of the first coaches we did with the quartz backsplash. Kind of a wow factor, very, you know, you generally see it pretty common uh, re in residential use. So uh, happy with the way it turned out. So did that in all three locations. There again, been trying to get show hauler to do a few things, which was bring the backsplash out to the very edge of the cooktop. I think we finally have that crack from the guys. So you can see it runs all the way to the very edge. You kind of poke around while I'm running the slide outs out. So 
all solid maple cabinetry. All the drawers are all dovetail construction. They're soft clothes as well. This is a charcoal stain with white walls. And then we did the smooth wainscot down below the chair rail. So all these coaches will have a chair rail and you can essentially do your vinyl, your color, your, your optional vinyl upper or lower, and then you could do the, uh, the wainscot down below. I prefer the smooth wainscot so it's easier to take and wipe down versus the beaded has the little lines. You run a microfiber over that, you're gonna have one heck of a mess on your hands in my opinion. So, like I said earlier on the other floor plan, I call this my bowling alley floor plan because it goes all the way back. And there's a ton of room here. You can kind of catch all of this if you want to step, just stand. I mean, there's a ton of room here to be able to walk throughout the coach. I don't have to walk around the bed. It makes it very handy, very open, uh, very open feel as well. Colors turned out great. Uh, I like the white and the uh, the charcoal stain, so very contrasting look back and forth. Uh, kind of a softer tone flooring in this that has a nice look. Uh, a little bit cleaner than some of the textured wood look tiles, so I think all the colors turned out amazing in this. The idea back behind the two TVs was to be able to see TVs in any, any location. This particular TV will slide over, and then it does have a lock so when the slides are in you can still watch tv dri driving up and down the road you can catch all your episodes of dukes of hazard while you're going down the road so starlink on board here we didn't do did not do that's amazing i'm not very smart there we go did not do any kind of satellite, so the idea is to do streaming TV, especially with these guys out in the desert. The nice thing about the Starlink is you can do Wi-Fi calling as well. So essentially anywhere, if you have clear view sky, as long as you're not around, I think Area 51 and maybe a place in Roswell, you can basically get any internet anywhere uh, in the northern northern hemisphere here. I'll kind of open up a few things. Like I said, it feels kind of redundant because we did the same coach last night, the twin two itch. We did a water fil filtration system on board here that does have a little sediment and a UV filter. But definitely a nice setup. I gotta figure out where the where the pots and pans are. The pots and pans down here. They're not there. If they're not here, we gotta find some pots and pans. No, oh, no pots and pans. So. So the idea is show hauler will generally put um, the uh, a set of pots and pans with the induction cooktop, and then that's our. You found them. Found them. Perfect. Pots that makes pans. me makes yeah. me happy. Now lunch is served. You're making those beans before you know it. So we'll kind of run through this right here. It's kind of your operational system outside of your Firefly. So the idea back behind this guy right here is to know exactly what your battery's doing how many amps you're pulling so essentially we've been out here running the air conditioner for probably about an hour it's got 93 percent battery life left and then once you uh you know get, like, give you an idea of how many watts of solar you're cranking that's not a lot whenever you divide that by 12 as far as amps goes so kind of keep that in mind you'll never be able to get in as much solar as you'll be able to pull out, especially when it's, once you enter an air conditioner into the equation. So everything's pretty easy to use. That's your Firefly for simple operation and light control. You got a 110 plug there. That's all your hydraulic leveling. That's your master disconnect on and off. So basically turn that off and everything shuts off, including your inverter awning control there. And then your step override. And then that's your master switch for all of your baggage compartments, all your lights in your baggage compartments. So customer wanted to be able to get more airflow through his coat. So we have three max air fans, essentially in the, in the kitchen area and then both baths. And then all the windows, we did a sliding window, framed window. We've had lots of issues quality wise with the frameless window. So I like, I kind of prefer aesthetically, I like the window next to it. You can see the, the frameless, but uh, for 
serviceability for longevity, I think that the frame windows are the very best. Of course, the show hauler, you can do so many different things, different furniture. Uh, we could do different, you know, we could do two dinettes. We could do theater chairs all the way down. We could basically do place anything in any particular location. And the nice thing about the ultra leather is the sky's almost the limit. The, I had a customer come to me yesterday with tofu. I've never heard of tofu, never seen it. Didn't even know the 700 ultra leathers exist, but guess what? We're going to order some furniture and tofu with 700. So kind of keep that in mind. If you really want to build a coach and individualize it, show haulers definitely the way to go because there's so many things you can and can't change to them uh, versus a lot of the other manufacturers. Everything is set ABC one, two, three. So that's kind of the cr crazy part. Uh, said big windows, small windows, little windows, no windows. So everything kind of underneath the sun. Same for cabinetry. You could do so many different things with cabinetry. Uh, we get customers that say, you know what? I don't like, I want two doors there. I want smaller drawers there. I want a smaller trash can. So uh, I know the guys at Show Hauler don't get too excited when I start doing special requests, but uh, for people that are wanting to build a coach, once you start talking 600 plus grand, it's nice to be able to kind of individualize your coach to be able to accommodate your needs. Always like to turn, turn, I always like to turn the light on to be able to kind of accent your backsplash there. So hydronic heating all the way across. We talked about the Oasis outside, but some of the registers, kind of what they look like inside. So pretty simple little device in and out with coolant and then a 12 volt fan. So essentially your unit outside does the work of pumping the fluid and heating the fluid. And then there's a little 12 volt fan that's integrated with your thermostat. So uh, once you understand the system, it makes things a little bit more simple. Stacked washer dryer. There again, the idea back behind the combined is have more storage. Yes, you're going to have to get a ladder to get up there, but you can put a you can put a lot of downing up there, lots of downing. Heated tile floors. We always turn the heated tile floors. We move these coaches. We leave everything plugged in all the time. The idea is whenever you plug them, unplug them back and forth, they revert to 88 degrees. You jump into a coach that starts at 88 degrees in the morning, it gets a little, little toasty. So we always turn those off in the summertime around here, uh, just to not have to worry about that. So Firefly operating system. As of right now, very, very simplistic Firefly system. They are going to a lot more integration, slides, thermostats, everything like that. Within the Firefly, they're gonna keep the heated tile floors off. I was really happy about that. And keep the awning controls off of the heated, or awning controls off the Firefly. We'll see that probably in about three months from now. We got some coaches that are coming down the line that will have that new setup. So, because of all the water lines and drain lines being above the floor on a show hall, that's the reason why you have uh, different dump stations. So, we're sitting right over the axles right here, so we can't do a black tank right here. So, this is a macerator tank that will pump into the black water. The rear, t the rear toilet is a regular manual flushing. If this was a little bit different setup, we could probably accommodate this as a regular manual flushing toilet. So I like this, having these breakers out of the way. Don't put them in the kitchen. Don't put them in an area that I need to access. So everything that runs off your shore and gin runs off of this guy right here. Yeah, so we're just running the AC off the inverter right now. And then everything that runs off your Inverter is all there. I'm gonna double check the cooktop. So the, yeah, the cooktop is a 220. I was, which makes it nice. It uh, the thing about doing a 220 induction top uh, induction cooktop is you don't get yourself limited. Essentially, think about a 110 cooktop as a 10, and you have two burner spots, and you can only utilize 10. So it's five and five, or six and four, or three and seven. The nice thing about a 220. You can go 10 and 10, so it makes heating up your items so much faster to do the, the 220. And that's there again, that's something we can do with show hauler versus some other manufacturers. Lots of convertibility. We always have the towel bar shipped separate because everybody has their own idea of the perfect spot for the. I'll try to do some puck lights below there, there again to kind of show off your backsplash. You can see the same. Did the same thing in the back. Just a nice, pretty look to be able to show off that backsplash.
So I'll jump back here to the master shower. There again, you know, I like the way everything turned out. Whenever you see the samples, you don't, you don't necessarily know how they're going to turn out, but uh, the, I like all the textures and textiles of this shower. Uh, you know, essentially we have, you know, two different tiles within the shower. We get guys that will do an accent wall. We'll get guys that will do accent strips. There's a lot of different things that you could do out there, but this is a nice, clean, uh, modern looking shower. All the colors turned out really nice on this coach. The, um, there again, that's something that you generally can't do. You can't go to Lowe's and pick out your own tile. Uh, and that's one thing that show all will allow you to do is basically pick anything in the confines of Lowe's Menards Home Depot. Gotta keep that in mind. Click it, click it. Don't forget to click it. Click it or tick it. See? Gotta click it or else that can rattle loose. So. Then you got a broken shower door. Don't forget to click it. It's still a shower door. It should have been a lot longer. <laughs> takes a lot longer to. So there again, all the convertible shelves, which is nice. You got the towel bars there. I'll put this guy so it didn't end up on the floor. And then do the old, the old test. I've got decent room to be able to relax. I can put my foot up if I need to. I can get my phone out. I can answer all the text. So nice size bathroom is a 41 inch rear bath, which is kind of my general go-to here. Then you have the Max Air fan. If the, if we had a skylight in here, Brett and I would be in here just sweating. Should be thinking about Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. So, anyway. I apologize for saying that. So, rigs are manual. Flushing toilet there. And then essentially anywhere uh, on your operational system, you'll be able to turn your water pump on next to a toilet, next to a shower your sink as well so 150 gallons of fresh water down below the bed do we do the accumulator tank in this dude too yep. that was impressive did you have to put that in before the so coach you, was ever you built soak it in cold water and it shrinks and then you can squeeze it in there and it kind of swells back up that's kind of what i was thinking yeah that's impressive it's got to be glacier water from alaska so the idea back behind the accumulator is somebody gets up at night they go to pee really quick you don't want to hear your water pump run Water pumps are notoriously loud because they're 12 volt uh, water pumps. We can darn sure replace that with a 110 water pump like they use on the Prevos. I think they're about 1800 bucks. Most people are pretty happy with that. All the included water pump and then we do the accumulator after the fact. So three, three ACs, the front and the rear will only operate off of your shore or gin. The center does operate off of the power inverter. Of course, as you can tell, it's 84 degrees in here, but we started pretty darn warm today. Um, so it's just kind of maintaining my recommendation on really, really hot days is take and pull your window shades down. Of course, you do lose a fair amount through the cab of the truck. But I believe we did the ceramic window tint on the inside of the cab, which helps out quite a bit. So all in all, a really beautiful coach. Like I said, it's cool to have the, the two twins. Uh, you'll see those guys out in the desert uh, with all their toys whenever it cools down a little bit. Uh, but uh, really appreciate it. Uh, appreciative of you guys watching these videos but I came back from Indiana with a specific idea to do videos I said don't bother bother me with anything but we're doing videos so unfortunately Brett doesn't get to do anything other than do videos with me but I appreciate that uh, make sure you guys keep on watching these videos we appreciate everything our website is pmcrv.com you can look there give us a call get you in touch with me I don't have I guess I guess my, I give you my email address, Darren, D-A-R-I-N, at performancemotorcoaches.com. So you can always send me an email there. Um, I'm so busy on the phone, it's difficult to catch me on the phone. But if you text me your email, I'll definitely respond to you. I will get back to you, and then we'll get on the phone and talk about building a coach, whether it's a, whether it's a totally customized show, or whether it's a stock unit that's coming, or whether it's a renegade as well. So appreciate you guys always coming out. Thanks a lot.